Hello, welcome back to the channel. So this is episode two in the Armies on Parade build that I'm doing. Um, just thought I'd do a little bit of a face-to-face -face video for this one. Um, so as you saw in the last video, I've got everything assembled onto the board. Um, very spontaneous build. There was no really, no really planning as such. Um, it was good fun to do. Um, what I did now is I'm now going to show you the painting process. So what I'm going to do is take this out. Uh, take my board out into the garden, get it undercoated, get some base layers put down, um, and then what I'll do is show you some of the airbrush work that I'll be doing, some of the washes as well, um, and you know just things to generally grime it up and make it look a bit more necromundi instead of you know, pristine and clean. Um, the water is going to be an interesting one to do because I do kind of want to do epoxy resin, but at the same time I want to keep the texture of the water if that makes sense so obviously you put an epoxy on it is going to flatten out because obviously it's going to self level um, and the curing times are very very random and I'd have to use a lot of epoxy to get this done um, anything goes wrong with it I'm fucked so you know but that will become probably in a later video um, what I might do is just literally give the entire model a coat of um, Halford's Auto Primer but it's a gloss primer eh, not prime sorry a clear coat um, it's a gloss clear coat, but what I can then do is go back in with my airbrush and some of the Army Painter Anti Shine Matte Varnish through my airbrush and knock down the um, the glossiness of it in certain areas so I can keep the water glossy, but then I can do the airbrushing over the top of the metals and things like that. Um, obviously, you the benefit of using that hard coat is it's literally going to seal every fucking thing in, so nothing's going to break off, nothing's going to chip off. It's going to be a really decent hard coat for it which is what I kind of want because I'm going to have to be handling this in and out of my car um, and obviously to and from the event. So if I ever did any um, Necromunda events in the future, I probably would use this as a bit of a display board. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go away and I shall show you the process of the spraying and then we shall pick up from there. Lovely. So back again, this is the first coat of the primer going down. So what I'm using for this is TT Combat's, um, basically the equivalent to Army paint is matte black. Um, really good versatile paint, sticks to a lot of stuff. Um, you know, really, really versatile. So just even putting this coat on has kind of uniformed the whole board. Um, the water effects have turned out pretty good. I'm not too... Not too disappointed in them. Um, obviously, it will be getting a thick coat of gloss on top of whatever I paint. Um, so the green and that, that will be getting a nice, really thick, thick coat of gloss. Um, as you can see, I've missed a bit there. Let me just get that. There we go. So just even doing this bit here is kind of uniform the whole model. Um, what I'm going to do now is go to the next stage where I'm going to be spraying on some grey. Um, this is just going to be on all the areas of like rock, things like that. Um, what I'll then do is hit all the water part with some white just to give that a bit of a, a texture um, and then I'll go over the grey with a little dusting of white as well just so I can bring it a little bit together so bear with me and I'll get that added on okay so the next coats are on so what I've done now is basically given everything a bit of grey um, I don't know if the camera's picking this up well it is quite gloomy over here um, I've given all the rock areas a hit of grey and I've also gone over with a white um, again all the colours are from um, TT Combat so you know, these are all decent spray paints um, it's like this bit I've just missed so just give that a quick give that a quick dusting um, same underneath these bits here um, what I've also done is gone around and just done some patches of the white. So when I go over this with the green, um, I'm hoping what that's going to do is just let that pop a little bit extra. Just give it some more interest and, you know, rather just all be flat, flat and boring. Um, again, all these metal parts will be all picked out and painted silver um, if they focus. Um, same with all the metal bits up here. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just quickly whip over the top of them with the black spray paint again um, just to help with the primer level layers and also with the back bit there um, uh, yeah you can see it's starting to come along a little bit um, 
I'm pretty interested in how this is going to turn out. Obviously the next stage will be a lot of airbrush work. Um, so what I'm going to do is go away now and start on the base coat of everything, metal. Um, get the airbrush layers put down and then just take it from there. So see you in the next part. So now I'm inside, um, just done some, you know, just done the spray painting section, uh, waited about 20 minutes for it to dry, um, and what I've done now is come back in and I've just used the airbrush um, to do some water, so it's probably appearing a lot more grey on camera than it is in real life, it's actually quite green, um, I've gone around with the airbrush, sprayed the whole lot with uh, green, I've done where the pipes are, so here, here and the little vent. Um, what I've done is gone over that with some moot green just to really really make that pop because what I'm going to do is mix moot green with resin um, and then I'm going to use that to pour out of the you know the drain bits just there so it looks like looks like it's spewing out sewage. Um, basically with the concrete as well this is a lot darker than what it looks on the camera probably because of that light. Let's see if that changes the colour a bit. Mm, not really. Let's keep that on. So I've just gone round and basically hit the entire thing with um, some grey paints um, using a makeup brush because it's a lot softer. Um, I've just gone round with some administratum and Mechanicus um, just to you know do a little bit of an edge highlight just to get up all the greys and stuff. And then I've gone over that again with matte white. Um, it's turning out quite good actually. Is this? Starting to kind of take shape. Um, I'm now going to basically go around with the lead belt chair and the, the bigger brush, and I'm now going to start painting up all the silver and metallics and things like that, and all the metal parts. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll give that 10 15 minutes to dry, and then I'll get the airbrush back out. So it's just there. I'll load it with some null oil and dark tone um, because with null oil, I do want that streaky appearance. Um, sometimes when that dries, it leaves a bit of a streaky appearance, so I want that. I'm going to get all the metallics painted, then what I'll do is I'll go back over the whole thing, spray the whole thing down with null oil, um, just these bits, was either water, I'm not going to do that. Um, and then we'll, hopefully that will darken that down a little bit, and then I can start adding some pigments and some colours. So I'll probably use like spots of brown, I want to get some resin mixed up for the water, for the little puddles, I'll mix some moot green in with that, just to make it look rancid. Um, I'll get to a little point where I'm, you know, I'll start adding the details and stuff. And then what I'll do is start painting up all the accessories for it, um, and then also tonight what I'm going to do is finish off the highlights on the gang as well. And uh, yeah, starting to take shape. I've obviously on a timeline for this, so I, I don't want to be spending weeks doing this. I need to get this board, hopefully, all the base colours and washes laid down by the end of today. Um, so I can just go back over the next week, just add a few details and things, because this weekend I am at a convention, so I will not be able to do any work on this for a whole weekend, so I need to get this done. Um, then obviously the accessories I can just paint off as and when I feel, so I'm going to crack on with this, and then we will, uh, yeah, see how we get on. So here we are, so the um, airbrush work is now done, um, what I've gone ahead and done now is the, oh, move that out of the way, is the wash stage, so what I've done is basically loaded my airbrush up with loads of different washes, um, dark tone, strong tone, agrax earth shade and green tone as well, um, what I've basically done is just gone around the entire thing, hit it up with as much wash as I can to get this thing looking as dirty as I can. Um, I also did some chipping effects using a bit of um, ripped up sponge and you know stippled on some nice shiny silver onto some certain areas. So this is what it's currently looking like. So what I've also done is gone around the edge where the bottom is um, and hit that with some of the washes as well just to make that look a bit more dirty and grimy. Um, that's all the metals and stuff as well so they've all been properly properly roughed up. I really want this thing to look disgusting and you know it's a port, it's not going to be clean. Um, but yeah, again, I need to tie it in with how that will look as well. So I've used the same techniques. Um, so I don't want the boat really to stick out and be any different to the other one, uh, to the board. Because otherwise it would just look really odd. Um, so the little scrap piles, I've just hit them up with some wash. The same with the centerpiece as well. Oh, sorry, that's my light. Um, 
got terrible lighting in this room. Done that as well. But what I've done as well around these bits is gone around with the dark tone and stuff and just done some light shadows to give it a little bit of depth. The green for the water, obviously now you can see it is green. I've just given that a quick dry brush over with a very lighter version of the green. Um, you know, I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Obviously, this will be getting gloss coated at some point. Um, I'm probably going to go over it with the Halfords Auto Primer. It is a thick gloss automotive, not primer, sorry, um, clear coat. So it will literally lock and seal everything in. And then what I'll do after that is go back through with my airbrush um, and knock back all the gloss with the anti-shine matte varnish on all the metals and all the things that isn't water basically but it's really starting to come together now you know it's really starting to look like a proper necrom underboard so you know i'm really happy with the progress of today now what i'm going to do is let this sit and dry for a good few hours um just so everything can dry because it is quite wet and you know when, when things get wet they can come off uh i'm now going to start work on the bits and pieces which are, let me point my lamp up here on this, um, I'm going to get them all base coated and washed and stuff and then what I can then start doing is pinning these in place and then I can start adding all the smaller details like the little guns, um, cargo boxes, things like that. And uh, yeah, so I think today's progress has been pretty good for an episode two. Um, what I'll do is give you a rundown of the stages for the next episode which should be episode three. So yeah, thank you for this and I shall see you in a second so there we have it that is episode 2 done and dusted um, I'm pretty happy with the progress of today really this has all been done in the space of around 5-6 hours I think um, next stage up will be episode 3 which is going to be me getting all these little details painted, weathered up, chipped you know all that kind of stuff um, I'll then do episode 4 which will be me attaching them to the board um, getting the gloss coat put down um, and probably episode 4 will be the me showing you the the army uh, the actual models on the board and then probably episode 5 I don't know I'm probably going to look around you know that being probably you know parade day so I'll do a video like going down there I'll do my thoughts and stuff like that as well um, I'll do a video you know prepping for uh, getting to the shop I'll show all, this, all the other ones that are on display and stuff and uh, yeah, hopefully it should be a nice little couple of episodes. Really happy with how this build's going. Um, as I say, it's, I've taken literally three days now to get to this point. So I'm hoping if I can get this done in the next two or three days, obviously with work. But now I've got the big part done, I can just do all the detail stuff. Um, with work and stuff, I'm probably hoping to get this done by it's Monday now. So I'm probably looking at about Thursday. I realistically, if I can get a simple board done um, for my grey knights just to display them, then I will. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to have the time to do anything elaborate for them. It's literally going to be sticking some insulation board down, making different layers, adding a few little details here and there. Um, nothing, nothing spectacular. This is kind of the board I'm going all out on at the moment, just because I'm enjoying it um but i do want to take my gray knights with me so um you know just going to be a basic build for them probably do a massive stencil in the middle of the board for that with an aquila or something i don't know um but yeah progress is good so tune in for the next episode which will probably be in the next day or two um yeah really enjoying this so it's nice to be back on the wagon again hope you enjoyed today's video and i shall see you all later